In today's Gospel, we find that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says that us and Him, humanity and God, are united. And we cannot do anything outside of God's providence. Everything that happens in our life, one way or another, has to do with our relationship with God or with the absence of the relationship with God. He is kind of today in this beautiful Hiratismi service reminding us that we are still inclined to sin the way Adam and Eve sinned. In the first few lines of Hiratismi we find that Adam's suffering is stopped and Eve's pain is also eliminated. In other words, humanity is restored back to God. But the Lord warns us that it's still possible that you choose something other than God. And when that happens, naturally, like a branch cut off from a tree, you start withering, you start drying out. And he encourages us that throughout this process of Lent, we return to him if we have somehow gone astray a different direction. I always say, going a different direction does not mean that we become a criminal. It doesn't mean that we do horrible things, declare wars or anything. That's not what it means. From here to God is infinitely long distance. There are two things we should keep in mind. One is that even if we have one degree of error in our direction towards God, it's like going from here to moon. You don't have to go to the opposite direction to miss the moon. If you had one degree of error from correct coordinates that take you to moon, you will end up in Mars because of the distance. As further you go, the bigger the distance becomes, even if it was one degree when you started it. The other thing is that we don't have to go too far from God to be separated from Him. All we have to do is turn our back to Him. That's all it takes to separate ourselves from God. When I turn my back to you, the distance between me and you becomes infinite because I'm looking the opposite direction. And the good news is that it's only one degree that we err in our relationship with God and it is very easy to correct. The second good news is that we don't have to walk miles and miles to find God. When we have turned our backs to God, all we have to do is turn around. And the distance between us and God becomes finite. From here to you is about 20 feet. And it just took me to turn around. It didn't take me to walk towards you. I didn't get any closer to you. I just turned my face to you. So in our journey through Lent, that's what we need to do. Recalculate our compass, make sure that the north is north, and that God is in the east, and we are going towards east, directly and precisely. And that for some reason, if for some reason, we have turned our back to God, it's very easy. We just need to turn around. Turn our face to Him. My Chinese uh, friend that I met once, and Gordon Conwell would say to the audience, she was a theologian, and, and she would say, when my husband talks to me, I always tell him, eye contact, you're talking to me, look at me. So sometimes that's another error we make. When we are talking to God, or when we're living our lives, we lose eye contact with God. And that's all we have to do, eye contact, meaning attention. We need to bless God. As I have said in the past, blessing is simply paying attention. So in our life, 
We need to turn around and pay attention to God. In order to have relationship with Him, we need to have eye contact with Him. We need to pay attention to Him in that way. So in order for us to receive blessings of God, we need to pay attention to Him. We need to bless Him first. And the blessings come automatically. When you look into the eyes of your loved ones, you immediately experience joy. They don't have to give you a hug or a thousand dollars to make you happy. When you have an eye contact with them, that fills your heart with joy. When you look at your child, you rejoice. So when we look at God, our joy multiplies. We become children of God. We become planted in the vine that the Lord sets today. And we get fed and uh, rejuvenate our life now and forever. Amen.